you have a composite function. They have given you two functions, f of fx and gx. They're asking you to find the value of fg3, which means your main function that you're solving first is the g function, the, the inner one, okay? So g3 as in, in this function, you're putting the input as three. So what do we do is g3 is simply found out by keeping the x value as three plus one, which gives me four. So now this four, which is the output of the first function, should be now the input for the second function. So our second function is f instead of g3 we got the value of g3 as 4 so that now becomes the input for the second function so when you plug in that it now becomes f4 the f function was to square the input this function tells you to square the input so therefore i'll just square the input giving me the final answer as 16. so this is how we deal with a composite function it really matters because what we do is we take the inner one first and then solve for the outer one this is the concept of composite functions